Why, hello everybody, it's Spencer here, also known as LEGO Dude 11, coming to you from the LEGO Dude 11 studio, yet again, for another TV vlog for you. I got a couple uh, for you coming this week in February, and uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys are sick and tired of these or not, but uh, I enjoy making these. This is the type of content I enjoy making here on the channel, and uh, I got a couple for you on HBO Max, that, Max this week. One, today, that is uh, kind of a show that people aren't enjoying. But I'm just going to get into it, and uh, the next video later this week is a show that I love near and dear to my heart. But, um, so one that just finished uh, is full season, so let's get to it, guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, but uh, I, I really wanted to make a video on reviewing this show. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here I have up the Velma TV show uh, first season on HBO Max. As it, as it says up here, it's an HBO Max original uh, right above the Velma title there, as you can see. And uh, this is a very strange, unique, odd type of show. Uh, so as you can see there, Velma is a different race uh, depicted right there. And I, I just want to be front up, up front, quite honest, uh, I don't care, I, I really don't care, uh, I just, I just want to be quick, I don't care about race, um, gender, like, switching that type of thing in this show, because if, I mean, later in the video, I'll mention here all about that, but, uh, basically, well, okay, let me read to you the description here about the show Velma itself, it says, Jinkies, this racist, a reimagining of the Scooby-Doo franchise unravels the mysterious origins of Mystery Inc. As seen through the eyes of the gang's beloved bespectacled detective Velma. And which is that, that is accurate. And there's so many there's controversy between this show um, already. But after the first episode and I was watching and listening to things which I agree with most people. This is kind of this is this, sh this show is mostly trash. And the best way I can describe it, which later in this video I'll mention, it it desperately tries to be the Harley Quinn show on this same network, HBO Max. I don't know how this show got made. I do understand that people love Scooby-Doo, and as you can see there, there's the character Norville, which is Shaggy in the in the. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm coming over a little uh, stuffy nose cold here, but uh, I over the. Uh, <coughs> The show, this character Norville, or the um, Norville uh, Shaggy in the Scooby Doo comics, his name is Norville, uh, like comics and movies, his name is Norville, but he goes by Shaggy. So they call him Norville here, his race is swapped, and you know, there's Daphne, red haired Daphne, Fred looks similar, and but Fred is this like white rich guy, and the whole mystery is trying to find like. Uh, Daphne's par uh, there's Daphne's parent trying to find Daphne's parents trying to find uh, Velma's mom. It's it's interesting. There's a serial kill serial killer on the loose. It's interesting, but the resolution in the end is just kind of random. It seems out of the blue. Like it doesn't even seem to be the right way to end. I mean, it's an ending, yes, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, it, it's like, oh, okay. I was thinking it was going to be someone else. It makes sense who the serial killer is. But it's it's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. Um, It's kind of just dumb fun. I wasn't hate watching this series. It was just kind of dumb fun entertainment in the background. Um, Also, I want to mention this. Like I said, it was trying to c uh, copy the Harley Quinn show. I feel like... Um, people are like, oh, why did this get made? It's absolute garbage. I feel like it has its quirks in there. The characters, like, again, I, I don't care about race, gender swapping, but at the end of the day, I don't understand. I love Mindy Kaling, Constance Wu as Daphne, but it's like these episodes, it, it was like the jokes just didn't land, right? The jokes just didn't land for me. Um... As, as the Harley Quinn show does, like it just goes through a joke and it's like, okay, that could have been funny, but it wasn't. And unfortunately that's where the show kind of just doesn't hit the mark. Even though I continue to watch it, I just wanted to see like where the ending would go. 
um, the characters, this show desperately, not doesn't desperately, desperately, it, it, I, I can't stand, there's no Scooby Doo in it, and I understand why they're trying to make it more adult oriented. And the fact that it's more, more adult oriented, they said, let's take Scooby out and then let's not have him in the show. Let's just have it be the four main mystery gang people. And then in light of that, they say, hey, guys, wouldn't it be funny to include a Scooby joke? Oh, yeah. In one of the episodes, they actually put an acronym of Scooby. So there is Scooby referenced in the show. It's not Scooby-Doo, but it's an acronym SC. O S C O O B I as an acronym, not Scooby with a Y, but Scooby with an I. And oh, isn't that funny? We reference Scooby guys. We reference Scooby Doo. Yeah, that wasn't really funny at all. That was just like a hey, uh, we, we don't have Scooby in the show, so we have to do it somehow. Yeah, it was stupid actually. I I that pulled that was one of the things that pulled me out of the show. But even though I continued to watch the end, it was kind of that was the dumbest part. And also they had the mystery van that also uh, at the end. Excuse, I, I I just have to mention this that Fred said, oh yeah, it's uh it's gonna I'm gonna lure sex I'm gonna lure uh, teen girls in here for sex. It's like really that's what the mystery van was for. Anyway, that was really stupid sex things i'm like okay this this is dumb um yeah i i really uh i i wasn't hate watching the show i was just having it for dumb fun and the whole premise was really bizarre um i yeah when when the first trailer came out i was like okay this looks kind of cool mindy kaling voices voices velma as a mystery this is kind of cool. The only, the best parts of the show are the hallucinations. I, I like the hallucination animation. Uh, and, and, and you know what? I, I'm sorry. I have to say this. I love in the Harley Quinn show, the Velma or the, the Velma, the Harley Quinn Ivy romance. The Velma Daphne thing was kind of, was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. I was kind of rooting for them because they're friends, but I'm like, okay, like who, who's really in a relationship with who? And there was really no really like if there's a season two of the show, I'm not watching it, but there was no resolution at the end of the show. Like I fell in love with you. I'm, I'm your partner now. It's like, uh, I, I really didn't like the way the show ended. It was fun. It was a fun ride to watch, but it was just not what I was expecting overall. Uh, like most people, like most people, I'm sure you guys can relate to this, but I do like the designs of the characters. Like, you know, Velma looks cool for for what she is, for what they tried to do. Like, I do give credit to where credit's due in the designs and what people tried to do. It's just, unfortunately, with this Scooby-Doo, like, with this new concept of Scooby-Doo, it's like, no, it just doesn't work. Even without the dog, even without Scooby, it does not work. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of Velma. Uh, you know, they, they, they tried to make that Scoob movie back in the COVID days, and I kind of enjoyed that. I like, I love the animation with it. And then they were going to make a sequel, like a holiday type movie. And then they took that as a tax write off and made this instead. It's like, really? All right. Uh, that's kind of weird, but I didn't, yeah, this wasn't really for me. Uh, so yeah. And then we have, and then just the same day that Velma ends, we get this uh harley quinn not the whole entire harley quinn show but we get uh wh wh where is it season three at the end of episode three they put in the a very problematic valentine's day special for harley quinn i'm like on the same day that velma ends is that a coincidence are they trying to like compete with the finale it's like hey guys don't watch the end of velma just watch this it's like and then i, I watched both anyways because i wanted to finish velma but this is so good. I love the entire entire Harley Quinn show way more than the Velma show. So if you want to watch something over Velma, watch this Harley Quinn show. If you have seen it, watch the new uh, Valentine's Day special because this is the funniest thing I have watched in a while. It was a hilarious special. <clears throat> but yeah, I I got I got good news and I got bad news. So there's my thoughts on Velma. There's my thoughts on the. Uh, there's a little presentation at the problematic Valentine's Day special. I don't want to talk too much about that because there's a lot of edginess in the problematic ho holiday special or a uh, Valentine's Day special and uh, stuff I don't really want to spoil. So just watch it for yourself. Let me know if you've seen this or the Velma show um, in the comments below.
Let me know what you thought of this video. Did you agree with my thoughts on this? It was just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was kind of the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a bad way. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to like, like subscribe, follow me at Popo Fit Master. Links down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm. Play Lego. Bye, everyone.